Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to study about case statement in SQL. So case statement is basically control statements. So they are like multiple if then else statement. So let's see the uh, syntax over here. So here we have written case and then we have when condition number one, then result number one will be printed. When condition number two, then result number two will be printed. When condition number n, then result number n will be printed or else some result will be printed and end so we'll understand this better with an example it is like multiple if then else statements only so basically if condition number one is true then result one will be printed or else else if condition number two is true then result number two will be printed else else if condition number n is true then result number n will be printed else if nothing is true out of the out of these conditions then the this will be printed so if no condition is true then it returns the value in else clause so this is case multiple if then else statements so we'll see three examples so let's check the first one so here as we can see select customer customer name case when payment is greater than thousand then it will print or it will give the output as payment is greater than thousand when payment is less than 1000, then payment is less than 1000 will be printed. Else, payment is equal to 1000. So, this is just an example. So, this is how case statements are used. And then we'll end like this. End as payment text. Now, you can, as is used as an alias, so you can ignore this as well. But, if you want to give a particular name to this, you can use the alias as. as. So, customer or customer name or payment, these are column names from a table. So what this particular query will do is it will select. Select basically means printing. So it will print customer. So the customer as you can see over here the output. Customer will be printed. Customer, customer will be printed. Then customer name will be printed. And then case when. When payment is greater than 1000. Now whenever the payment will be. Payment is another column which we are not printing. So hence it will not be, it will not be shown in the output. So when payment is greater than 1000 then payment is greater than 1000 this should be printed okay and all of this has an allies payment text so the column name will be payment text a uh, payment text so this is what allies does so customer customer name and this entire thing has an allies payment text so payment text this will be the column name so and the out uh, and whatever will be printed in these columns will be this one of the uh, one of the one of these so whichever condition will be true that particular thing will be will be uh, will be given as output over here so this is our first example of case now let's see the second example in this second example see here th this is search condition we are giving some condition like payment is greater than 1000 or payment is less than 1000 or it is equal to 1000 and we are giving we are basically giving some condition but over here this is just case value so what what we are doing over here is the same example the same thing select customer custom name whatever all of that and then case gender so what is gender gender is another column name now when m we are not writing any condition over here we can also write this like uh, write like write this as when gender is equal to m then male when gender is equal to f then female and then we'll end it we can do that as well but these are the two ways how you can write case statements so this is this is how we can write we'll uh, we'll write the column name over here case gender gender when and directly we'll write the value over here i hope this is clear so the output will be exactly the same but instead of this your the column name will be gender because we have not given an alias and uh, and instead of m and f we'll print male female the entire word let's see one last example where we are using this case statement in an update clause okay so update employees employees is the table name set update basically for update we have update set where so update employees set rating rating is another column name now rating we are going to change we are going to update this value rating we are going to change this and then is equal to case now whatever is true out of the two out of all these will be the output over here and that will be the value of rating and that will be changed that value will be updated in the table employees i hope that is clear so as you can see this is the case case statement and it has three when uh, when's in it 
so when rate is less than three then you have to print something when rate is equal to three then something when rate is greater than three then something and then we're going to end it so this is how we can use case inside an update i hope the video was clear so in case you like the video don't don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you